Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. I am largely unemployed and this is episode, I think, 5. <laughs> In the previous episode, we had a big old Viking attack at the very beginning and a couple dragons come and try their luck, but they didn't get very far, so at least we know we're dragon-proof uh, over here. Um, but we definitely have a bit of work to do on our defenses today, building up our little army, which is now a full 17 men strong. In fact, do we have any uh, spare soldiers? We have 11 soldiers waiting and ready to go. Okay, cool. So we might be able to finish up our first army. I'd like to have 32 men per army. We do have the manpower to train up another 64. So, uh, yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Um, that said, however, we do need to work out... Uh, how the irrigation works today, as well as finish off these walls and, you know, build buildings and things. Uh, that was a pretty incoherent start to the episode. Let's just let's just run the game before I dig myself into another hole. Okay, uh, we have the final piece going up there. Oh, cool, so the, the animation does sort of continue on that way. I, I'm very, very, very interested to see how this game is going to handle uh, the irrigation, because this thing does have a radius around it, right? There you can see it's sort of... I guess it's irrigation radius, um, and that is going to probably bump up, I, I would imagine, each tile in it by one fertility. So it'll make barren fertile, and it'll make fertile very fertile, uh, which will really improve the output of like all of our farms and stuff here, which will be pretty damn nice, gotta say. Uh, yeah, we are quite densely populated on wells. Let's actually move these oaks over here, and smack recruit. Okay, so he has got... Not two full-size armies, but two pretty well-stacked armies. He's got a six... So let's train up four more. Two, three, four. Um, and that'll complete him. He'll have two regiments of 16. So 32 men, 33 with himself. Sir Guerat over there. Uh, can I change your name? I can't. That would be nice. I could have named him after one of my subscribers or something. Then over here, we have... Oh, come on, click on him. Sir Lambkin. And Sir Lambkin is uh, gonna go wait outside just so I know where he is, and he'll have our, he'll be in charge of our second regiment. I just realized that, you know, we, 29 people visited but one found a home. Oh yeah, we need more beds, holy shit, we're getting a lot of foot traffic coming through. Let's throw down, we do have the stone for it, let's throw down another mana. Um, they're just such a good, like, you know, people for the amount of resources you spend. It's just, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, you get the idea. Um, also, wait, hold on, I don't want to put a hospital here. I think I did. I think I did. I want to put a hospital here, rather. Let's go ahead and throw in another hospital. I think that's the right way. Yeah, we'll find out. Okay, cool. So we got another hospital there. Um, we can fit something in the back here. I haven't decided what just yet, though. Uh, we have our treasure room there, library there. What little small something can we stash in that corner? Uh, there's always, of course, you know, uh, hovel. But, you know what? I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. You tell me. What do you want in that corner? We could even just build a big old tower, just for like a little extra defense. Uh, completely up to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna leave it blank for now. Let's throw down the old castle blocks. There we go. Choppity, 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 choppity. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, just so you know, I do record these uh, these episodes in blocks of three, just for simplicity's sake, because, uh, yeah, I do have um, quite a busy schedule these days with university and such. So, uh, if you do leave suggestions for the gameplay, they'll only reflect, um, at most, uh, one ep uh, sorry, at the earliest, you know, the, in the next episode type of thing. Um, so if it's episode 3 or 6, then, you know, episode 4 or 7 would reflect your comments. Um, although I didn't really have any suggestions for episode 4, I think? So yeah, we're just sort of carrying on the playthrough. And this is episode 5, and this is all information you already have, because it'll be in the title of the episode. And I am rambling, and I'm, I just, I need to stop talking. Let's, let's move these guys here, pick up the last of his army. Okay, so we have an, we have two armies, or we have, well, we have one army, really, at present. Um, we're gonna move him out here, he's gonna defend, sort of, this segment. And you, are going to get... 10. You know, we're just gonna go to 64. Uh, okay, we're gonna do 32 at a time, apparently. Which actually is the correct amount, right? Yeah. Our peasants despair. Why doth they despair? Oh my fucking god, I need more food. Immediately. Okay, I was cr wrong? Land is receiving irrigation, therefore is ready for- Oh, it irrigates the barren lands so you can plant on them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, well we need to amp up our food ASAP. And so for that, we're going to use the old windmill spam trick. 
and throw it down, not there, come on, come on, food, uh, windmill, um, I need to decide how I'm doing this, we'll put one there, and food, oh, I can't put more down, okay, cool, we'll farm, farms then, du, 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 du. Uh, I need to chop down these trees, and we need to place some roads down this way, there we go, cool, uh, let's actually go ahead and sneaky this road around a bit on the side, what am I doing, uh, town, road, let's go ahead and take this road this way, so, you know, it's on the barren, uh, segments, not the actual fertile bits of the road, anyway, uh, put an orchard here, orchard, um, orchard there, sure, we'll throw down a pair of farms, good, 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 fantastic, Okay, we're actually going to go ahead and put a well there once we have the stone. Okay, you guys can just chill on the road there, that's fine. Um, we are getting a positive gold balance, we just do not have enough food. Uh, that is good to know. We are very much going to be focusing on that then. Whoops. Um, let's also go ahead, we can throw down that well now. Uh, I think we'll stick it in this corner down here, because that's got pretty good coverage from that one. So yeah, just put it in the corner. That'll work. All these idle men will make for very good farmers very quickly, which is always nice. Let's throw that, and then that tree's about to disappear. There we go. Cool. Uh, let's throw down yet another windmill. Will we need 35 stone? Okay, well, we'll get there. Let's three times speed. Oh, look at all that yummy food. Perfect. Okay, that's definitely not still good. It's definitely still not going to be enough to uh, feed our populace, though. So let's throw down another windmill right there. And let's just improve our um, proletariat here. Let's bolster their ranks. Perfect. Actually, maybe that might have been good for another road. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, town, road. Dip, 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 dip. Perfect. In fact, actually, we can go ahead and demolish this one and throw in another farm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're still barren. You're just irrigated barren. Okay. Okay. Does that improve the growth rate? Uh, receive irrigation plus four food. Okay, wow, that actually is quite beneficial. Then we are going to want to run... Um, well, there's not really much going on here, but we could irrigate all of this. That could be pretty fantastic farming as well. So let's go ahead and spend the money and throw down another granary right over there. Um, we do still have enough idle individuals. And we have plenty of housing space as well, which is... Uh, well, no, actually, we only got 20 free. It's not that much. Uh, we're going to throw a college in there. They won't be very happy being away from the road, but, you know, whatever. Um, in fact, can we do two? Yes, we can. Perfect. Uh, again, yeah, they're not going to exactly love being that far from the road, but they'll live. They'll live. Um, what do you guys do? You give base happiness 8 plus 2 for 10. Nice. Okay, so these guys do not get the tavern's happiness boost, but they're doing okay. Okay, our food is, food is proving to be a bit of an issue. Um, however, are we positive? We've reduced the deficit. That's better than nothing. Um, but it's not going to cut it, is it? So, oh, we can finally place down that farm. Voila. Um, hmm. Maybe, I think we get another windmill in here. Because the orchards are great and all. Um, and they, so this one gives, that's, what's that, 24, no, 26, 30. That gives 30. This here... So, windmill gives plus two, uh, base up is four, so that's seven. So, that's one, two, three, four. I suppose it is different for different fertilities, hey? Yeah. Uh, nine, nine, seven, 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 nine, nine. Yeah, I think we actually do get more from the orchards, even with the windmills. No, with the. I'm going to have to sit down and work that one out. Uh, it's not exactly that clear. Um, but it is definitely... I think we're going to get... because Just simply because of the shape here, really. We're going to throw down another set of farms and a windmill. Yay! Do the windmills take workers? One. Okay. One Mia Miller. That's fine. And uh, so we can just expand that road so that it's done. Too far from our road, sire. There we go. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't live one block away, right? That would just be madness. Uh, oh, right. Orchards aren't at risk of flooding as well. That is that is another consideration, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, can place it there. Cool. 
let's throw that there, that there, that there. You can fill in all these spots that were previously barren with yummy, yummy farms. Nice. Okay, do we have enough well protection out here? No, we're going to throw one just there next to the trees. Uh, right next to the Lorax, who speaks for the trees, of course. Okay, now this is... I'm guessing... I'm guessing it'll probably be easier if we do want to farm up here to throw down a Noria on this freshwater deposit here, because this is all freshwater, right? We can stick one right on the coast here and then just sort of irrigate this portion pretty easily. But that's that's not necessary at present, so we are just going to carry on doing what we was doing, uh, which was finishing off this wall. Yeah, two left. Okay, that's getting chopped. Finish that one off, please. Mucho gracias. Um, we also can go ahead and throw out the gates. No idle workers. Ah, balls. Ah, that could be because they're all building. Ah, here we go. Now I got 12. Okay, cool. It was because they were all building things. That's fine. Where is all of our... Or stone, rather. Um, where is all of our stone being stored? There's one set there, and I suppose the rest are probably being stashed here. No, there's nothing in that stockpile. Hmm. Hmm. Are these armaments? Yes, they are. Okay, we don't need armaments anymore. Switch back to tools, please. Coolio. Uh, that'll just help speed up all this farming. Apparently, I I, I I googled it, but I couldn't really see. Oh, sweet. Cool, so we ha we should have two full cohorts. Yeah, okay, the second army is live. And there's a dragon. Almost perfect timing. However, I have just realized that the dragon, thankfully, is foolish enough to swing past our defenses. Okay, cool. So he's gonna get straxed. On a draxed him sklunkst. What are you doing, Mr. Dragon? Where you go? Oh, that ogre's still chilling there. Can we fight him? Let's let's go let's go find out. Can we fight the ogre? We'll take our second army here, Sir Lambkin. Uh, the least experienced of our generals. The other one has a whole thirty seconds of combat behind his name. Let's let's march out to sea and see what we can see. Uh, these armies aren't quite full. That one needs three more men. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can you fight this dude? You cannot. Okay, so he's just glitched out. He's just chilling there. Can I build ships? That's something I haven't had a look at. Mode, chamber of war, barracks, industry. Hmm, rock removal. Interesting. Okay, I don't think we can build ships. Can we build ships? Am I just missing it? Maybe we can only build ships if we have a pier? Uh, let's find out. Let's throw some pier down over there. What is pier down? 35 stone, holy shit. Okay, well, I mean, let's, let's just finish that off then, right? Because, I mean, now we're doing it, so... Let's find out. It would be kind of cool to have, like, a... Like a statue of the king just outside of the, the castle walls in the middle of the ocean. Military. Hmm. Okay, dragon ran away. Hmm. Excellent ruler. People are starving. Yes, they are. Um, but we are, yes, now we are positive by 210 per year. Wow, I don't think the food rots. So we can probably just keep smacking down granaries as long as we have free workers, right? Um, and just sort of store all this food up. Let's also go ahead and uh, improve our efficiency ever so slightly. Okay, cool. So people can get all the way over there nice and easily. Uh, we can also just, you know, we've got the resources, so why not? Let's just finish off that road so, you know, a bit closer. Not that it does all that much, to be honest. Um, what's next on the agenda here? Our soldiers are back from campaign, which is good to see. Uh, we just need to work out what our next step is. Right now, we're just sort of waiting for resources to come in. So that's probably what we're going to want to use. Um, we can also go ahead and experiment with this rock removal technology here. We just need uh, tools for that, I believe. But I think people are using the tools. Um, yeah, they are using the tools. Can I hoard tools? What do tools do? Not very clear. I mean, can I mouse over it? Um... That's iron. Blacksmith create tools. Tools are used to speed production and remove rocks. Okay, four used by foresters, four used by quarries, one used by iron mines. Okay, so they're not used by farmers, just by 
sort of our resource manufacturing personnel. Okie dokes. Then we need to go ahead, I think, and expand our stone production. And this looks like a pretty good deposit to exploit. We can get one, one, two, three. Can we go in there? Yes, four around this rock. And none around that one, but we can remove, of course, those stones. We know this now. Uh, speaking of which, how is... How many, how many do we have stored? Um, stored, ready for use, that's iron. We have two tools stored. Okay, cool. But I think the blacksmith will start catching up now soon on, uh, on all that. Are you guys 50 per 50 per year? Fantastic. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, cool. So we got like almost a... I, I'm guessing that stacks. I'm guessing it's not 50% over and above the 20... I'm getting it's... It is 50% alongside 20%. So we got a 70% increase. Vikings! Finally, some action! Action is coming. And these oaks have a lot of ogres. In fact, they only have ogres? Why can't I fight ogres with my mans? Okay, well, this is a bit of a problem because we do not have, at present, the defenses to fend off an ogre. So what if we try our hardest to throw down ballista towers just here on these main walls? And we have the idle workers for it, so hopefully the builders will max out and do that. Let's get our soldiers out here just in case we are able to combat those ogres and I just couldn't deal with the other one. Oh, there's more Vikings. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Troops, sally forth! Your empire needs you. Okay, God, quickly, please build it. Oh, Lord, we, we took too long on this one. Well, at least, at least the walls are complete, so they'll have a bit of a challenge to get in. Not much, but a bit. Um, can, can you fight? Select them. Can I select them? It's glitching out. Oh, God, there we go. Sir Lampkin. Uh, I, I think he... Did they fight him? Okay, they are. They are battling the ogres. This is good. This is good. Okay, men, sally forth. I need you to combat those Vikings there. Oh god, they're just trashing everything. Okay, alright, alright. Yes, 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 do what you must. Uh, that's almost finished. That might help a bit. Uh, get those Vikings. Good, we've wiped out one army. We need to wipe out the next segment. Quickly. Can I, can I get them? Oh, I had them, I had them, I had them. There we go. Cool, get in there. I wish there was a health indicator of some kind. Okay, so we absolutely trashed those little Viking groups pretty easily. Um, can we get a hold of these ogres? That one's trying to leave. And we have another Viking group here. Uh, I know the ogres are trashing my town, but I'm going to deal with the ones I know for certain. I actually can kill. Okay, okay, cool. Come on, the Viking. This one's yours now. You're gonna, you're gonna tackle them. I wish I could tell them. Is this maybe a bug? That I can't tell them to like... Okay, we got one ogre. Fantastic. Get the other one. No, 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 no. You're gonna kill this dude. Come on. Come on. We're gonna slay dine ogres. Let's go. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, he got away. Oh, well, they do go into the ocean and fight. That's good to know. Um, can I not command them both at once? I can't. Okay. How many soldiers did we lose on this... Uh, not too many, actually. Um, we'll need eight men there and another four men there to complete our ranks. Okay, so we need 12. Well, that's pretty easy to get. There we go. Uh, oh, I should have done that in segments. Whoopsies! Um, can I cancel the training? Yes. Okay, you've got four ready and waiting. That's what's needed here for Sir Gerrard. Fantastic. You go get your men. And we have a bit of cleanup to do because, well, yeah, we got we got screwed. Um, so let's go ahead and demolish this. I can use hotkeys delete. Cool. That is a bit quicker. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I got this new mouse and the click is so loud. I am so sorry, everybody. Okay, cool. Let's put the road back. And it's time to finish this castle defense because, oh boy, this is this is not working out for us so good. Um, let's finish off these walls, or rather replace these walls. Not even finishing them off yet. Oh, damn it, yeah, you know. Um, okay, now we need to selectively determine where we are going to start investing our stone. I think let's start here. Okay, cool. Uh-huh, and we can put one more there. Good, good. And we're going to build these towers up to max height now. There's going to be none of this, none of this quarter piece stuff here. This is going to be full-on... 
warfare. Okay, you guys come back out, you come back over this way, and I can I please get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight soldiers, thank you. Oh wait, no, he didn't pull out his men. Uh shit. Uh cool. Go back there. I mean you can chill there, but you're not gonna take anybody just yet. Okay, you, Sir Gerard, recruit. Fantastic, his men are his. So 210, that's going to be our, our, our peak army strength. Okay, let's go 8 again. Nope, didn't accept that command. There we go. Yeah, as the game is going on a bit, we're getting more and more buggy, which is uh, a bit annoying, I must admit. Um, it, it, it really does slow everything down quite a lot. Okay, you have 7 builders assigned to you, 7 builders assigned to you, and you are nearly done. Cool. Okay, that is one wall bit completed again. Um, I think it's time we continue to slap down our fortifications here. Uh, uh, that's the most it'll let me go? Cool. Need surrounding blocks of similar... We can go higher? Ooh. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, well, let's, let's do that for now. Get those two points up to the right height. Um, our gatehouses are manned, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So the Vikings can't just walk in. Um, unless the ogres manage to knock down a segment. Uh, we can also go ahead and throw down... I know we are tearing this down pretty soon, but just in case he's, we're going to throw down an arrow tower right there. Uh, what other defenses do we have? We have ballistas and archers. Is that it? Hmm. That is it. Doesn't seem like we have any other sort of ranged options. I really would like to be able to build my own navy, so I can sort of go and intercept them before they even make it, or, or catch them on their way out. Okay, uh, fight may be coming. Let's fortify as best we can. Oh, I should have seen that. Uh-huh. Okay, we have a pretty wonderful surplus. That is good. Um, our expansion is here is almost complete. We just need a, a few more little blocks, and then we've got everything we're going to need. We have a mason. Yeah, we are going to need him, because he can repair damaged structures. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and throw in a cottage... And a cottage, and I think that is pretty much all our real estate on this side of the world maxed out, minus that one little tile that uh, we haven't quite decided what we're doing with. Okay, let's... I think you can now do your recruiting. Recruit. Beautiful. And I'm actually going to turn off our recruitment center just for now, um, because we don't have that many idle workers at present. Maybe I should just throw down some like houses out here, um, just to get the good stuff going on. Do these guys get a bonus from being within walls? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, oh, we can have a festival. Yeah, let's improve the hab. Oh, it has little tents in it. That's so cute. Cool. Uh, if anyone has said that in the comments and I haven't done it yet, my apologies. I didn't realize that, you know, it was that easy. Uh, you guys need charcoal. That does make sense. We do have an insane surplus of wood and not much in the way of charcoal making, so I guess let's fix that, right? Um, we do have all of this wood stored here and no charcoal manufacturing on this side of town, so let's throw them down where they're most useful. Um, in fact, actually, we'll put them right here. We can have an iron mine there, so let's leave that for now. Let's put them right there. And what we are going to do is actually go ahead and, you know what, because we have the people for it, we're going to throw down an iron mine. Cool. We're going to throw down a blacksmith. Uh, where am I going to put the blacksmith? Maybe here. It does cut into our forestry a bit. Uh, put the blacksmith there, and then we'll put down a set of small crop piles. One there, one there. And those are going to store different things. You... Oh, I can't tell them what to store now. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just wait for that to get built. And uh, this one's going to store tools, um, charcoal, and iron. And this one's just going to store wood and charcoal. And that should speed things up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Because this one kind of stores everything at the moment. And that's mostly just stone and iron at present. Okay, cool. And you guys are maxed out. Beautiful. Okay, that should, that should relieve our problems. Okay, so you're going to take only... Uh, charcoal, iron, tools, and armaments. Cool. And you're going to accept only wood and charcoal. Nice. Uh, not that one. Thank you. Yes. Okay, cool. That is correct. It doesn't always register when I click, which is a little bit annoying. A little bit. Just a, just a smushkin. 
Okay, so the builders are running out here and collecting the resources that are needed. Good, good, good. Uh, maybe it is time, since we are doing all of our world expansions now, that we tap these resources like I've been talking about. Okay, so right off the bat, you know what, I'm actually just gonna... Oh god, we have to chop trees, don't we? Ugh, okay. Get a chopping. Chop, chop, chopping, please. No, chop. Nothing. Chop. 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 Cool. And you are going to take this road. I have to chop that one too. Chop that, and I'm just going to loop the road round as well. Uh, in the meantime, what we can do is use the stone roads to just boop, 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 improve that. Just so that when we do do the stone mining, it doesn't take forever to get to the damn resource deposits. Okay, choppy, chop, chop, chop. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, this game plays pretty well on three times speed. I've got to say, there's a lot of assets on screen and they're behaving very well. Um, what do we need? Too much wood. Cool. Too long to store our harvest. Some of us ruined by winter. Improved paths to the granaries. Yeah, we do need another granary here, don't we? This one's probably full up. Or at least it does fill up pretty quickly, I imagine. Um, I think I'm going to have another granary right here, eh? Hey? Yeah, that's my new plan. Cool. Okay. That's done. Stone roads. Let's run them down. Oh, nice. That finished so quickly. Okay, cool. That's going to get there. Then we can need one, two, three, four quarries, right? So, uh, quarry. And we get one, two, three. Stone can only support two quarries. Balls. Okay, well, that one, we can just go ahead then and remove that rock, right? Because that rock was not mineable. I can't tell in winter, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, we're going to assume that rock was not mineable. And let's also throw down that stone road. And then we're going to clear out a space here for a stockpile. And that will just accept stone and wood. Coolio. Uh, because I don't really mind if my builders have to travel a bit to collect the resources. It's just a bit nicer if they... Oh, wow, look at this. Okay. <laughs> so we can go higher, right? Cannot build any higher. We need surrounding blocks of similar height. Okay, well, screw it, right? Let's let's build up that to a similar height. Cool. Uh, that's going to look a bit jank, I realize, for a bit, but whatever. Uh, that can go all the way up, and that can get started. It, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I want to see how high we can push this. I'm very interested. Okay, so that's going. This is being built. Five tools remaining. Uh, where are these guys are gonna have to haul stuff here from across the map basically so that is that is going to be a bit demanding on them i guess and they only bring one tool set at a time uh, that's, that's a bit frustrating um let's also go ahead and throw down that uh where is it not the market could probably use a market in town there um i may find a way to expand it soon cool put a stockpile right there lovely that did cause a bit of a weird lag spike in fact you know what this is going to be for only stone. This small stockpile can take our wood. Take the wood. Maybe, guys, what we do in the next episode, right? Because we are we are close to time here. Maybe in the next episode, we build ourselves a new little castle here. Or do we focus on these walls first? Hmm. I'm not going to be able to get feedback from you guys on this one. But I mean, leave it anyway. Leave it anyway, because it's, there's a good chance I might not actually get to completing either of those tasks in the next episode. So, yeah, you guys let me know what you want to see for episode, what will be, seven? Um, coming up in a few days. It'll be four days from you now for you guys, but it, about 30 minutes for me. <laughs> you guys let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see a new town built here? Maybe we can even go onto this island and sort of start a new little kingdom. Or do we focus exclusively on fixing up these walls? I'm not ever going to be walling off our sort of resource production here because, I mean, if a bit of that gets damaged, we have so much surplus, we can survive it. Uh, I'm more focused on protecting the houses so we don't lose the workers. All right, that has been episode five of Kingdoms and Castles. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, I'm really glad to know the irrigation worked out so well. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. And as always, subscribe. Cheers. See you in the next one.